Hello everyone. So, let's get something straight right off the top here. I know that URL tagging is nothing new, and to be honest, it's not really very exciting to talk about either. But that's really the whole point of this video. How can we take a mundane, error-prone, and downright boring task like URL tagging and automate it to, number one, eliminate the errors, and secondly, make it just a little less boring. So in this short video, we'll be talking about a few definitions, what is UTM tagging, why you should tag, and what are all these, these little parameters that, that we'll be going over. And number two, I'd like to introduce you to our new um, URL tagging worksheet, which will help uh, automate your process a bit. All right, so what are UTM tags? UTM tags are, are just query string parameters that are manually appended to URLs. And these tags, as we like to call them, enable tracking and analysis of external marketing campaigns, such as email newsletters and banner ads, or even paid search. Without these tags in place, all of your data sort of gets lumped together instead of being segmented for proper analysis. Tagging gives you insight into post-click behavior that isn't available through email or, or other third-party vendor vendors. So what are some, some business questions that you might be able to answer uh, using UTM tagging? Well, number one, what happened after someone clicked on my Yahoo, Bing, or, or AdWords ad? Uh, another example, are my newsletter recipients engaged on my site after they arrive? And a third one, did any email, newsletter, or banner clicks to my website result in conversions? For example, filling out a form or, or buying something. These are all examples of the types of things that you'll be able to uncover by using uh, UTM tagging. And you'll be able to segment it so that you can see which of these marketing channels is working best for you. All right, so let's jump right into the tool now. As you can see here, step one is to select your default query string parameter. Uh, and the options are either the question mark or the, 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 the pound sign or the hash symbol. Now, if you don't know which one is uh, used by your site or your content management system, it might be best to check with your, your IT resource uh, to help you determine which is the, the correct one to use. In most cases, I've seen it's the question mark but the, the tool is designed to use either one. The next item that you need to set up is to select your output case. Uh, an example of lowercase is shown here, uh, and obviously uh, everything here is, uh, as the example says, in lowercase. If I switch to proper case, you'll notice that some of the, the parameters switch to capital letters of the first word. I personally like to stick with a lowercase naming convention, but again, it's, it's, it's entirely up to what, uh, what your existing naming convention with respect to your marketing, marketing channels is. And the third step is to actually build your tags. Um, and to do that, we're going to switch over to the next tab. Now, because of the video, the size of this video, you may not be able to see the tabs at the bottom of the screen, but uh, there are two tabs there, and one is called Tag Builder. So let's go ahead and switch to that. So here we are on the, the actual tool. So in column A, we have a parameter called medium. And I have some examples listed here. The medium identifies how a, uh, a user got to your site. So for example, we have email, banner, CPC for paid search. This could be any medium that you define. Uh, and typically, uh, these are the, some, some of the more common ones uh, that we use, but other examples uh, could be social media, if you aggregate some of your social media together. Uh, newsletters are an example of a source, uh, and a source is different than a, in a medium in the sense that this is not how a user arrived to the site, this is where a user arrived to the site from. So for example, you have uh, a particular newsletter, uh, Google, Bing, So let's go ahead and give ourselves a, uh, a medium here. And uh, oh, let me just go back to the column. Column A, I'm just going to put email as my medium. 
now for source I'm going to call this uh, newsletter oops, 5 as an example now the campaign in column C is the marketing campaign name that you've given uh, this campaign so some of the examples you see here are Thanksgiving 2010 uh, Memorial Day, New Year's 2011, it really could be anything. Uh, it could just be something as simple as uh, December 2010. We'll use that for our example. Now the content parameter in column D allows you to specify where within your email newsletter, in this case, the link, uh, the click happened. So as some examples you see are a text link or banner link you might have two links within the same uh, content that are going to an identical page and if you want to determine which of those uh, clicks uh, led to, or which one of those links led to the click uh, this is how you do it you can def differentiate the link you build by either uh, naming this content parameter as text link or banner link uh, or it's arbitrary you can call it whatever you'd like but in this case we will call it let's say banner image as example now the term UTM term in column E is something that's typically used more in paid search um, so we don't necessarily have to worry about it for this example but it will contain the keyword that the user typed to arrive at your site and one thing I should mention as far as error checking goes the tool is set up as you can see here to handle spaces uh, between the words, or, or sorry, between the letters in a word and also between words as you can see here. It will uh, insert the appropriate ASCII character so that your resulting URL doesn't break. It's also set up, as you can see from over here, to eliminate any leading spaces or trailing spaces. It will actually strip those out. So it will handle that, uh, that problem very gracefully. Now in column F, in destination URL we're going to type in the name of the page and I'll just use mydomain.com slash mypage.html now when I finish typing this and switch off of this field uh, you'll see that the tag is generated and I've just scrolled over to the right a bit so you can see column G this contains the URL that the, the tag built URL that uh, we defined. So as you can see here we have HTTP www.mydomain.com slash mypage.html followed by the query string parameter that we uh, defined and then all of the UTM parameters. UTM campaign equal to the, the, the time we specified, uh, UTM medium equal to email, UTM source equal to newsletter 5, and UTM content equal to banner image. Now if you look up you'll see this nice big ugly f formula so if you were to copy and paste this into your your code your HTML code you'd get this big ugly formula which we don't want so to prevent that issue from happening I'm gonna scroll over to the right a little bit more uh, we've created this prepare final URL button when I click on this like so and I'll just scroll over one more time it results in these nice clean URLs which you can now paste. So the important thing of course is to uh, define your UTM parameters uh, the, and then click on the prepare final URL button at the end to generate these clean URLs which you can now copy and paste. Now the, the purpose of this tool is to allow to do this in bulk so you can insert as many destination URLs in here and as many uh, UTM tags as you'd like and once you're done click on the pre prepare final URL button and have all of your URLs generated on the fly. That's it for our tool. Welcome any feedback. And uh, until next time, happy tagging.